Hello, welcome back again to NX Progressive Die tutorial. So in this tutorial, I would like to show you about a force calculation. Uh, the force calculation, the place is in here. So the icon is placed after we create strip layout. Uh, okay. So after we get strip layout, we going to force calculation. Now the force calculation has no a direct impact with the result so it means that this force calculation is just some kind of additional tool to find out how much force needed to create some of the future or maybe all the future in here including the piercing forming and also the bending so it will it will be used to calculate how much force including this piercing and also this uh, bending okay let's get started now I click in here by automatically and create every scrap scrap calculation meanwhile in here this is just an additional so I already create before maybe I will I delete all of this okay so by the default NX just, NX just only uh, create all the f the calculation needed to make this a piercing process so when I click calculate it automatically calculate all the process needed this is the all the process needed 900 30,000 Newton or maybe about 95 94 to 95 tons just only for stripping the sheet metal okay now I will uh, investigate how much the force needed to create this Z-band okay okay Z-band Define your process Z bending. This is the preview what it's Z bending means. I go here and then select face. I click this face, click this face, and I rename it using Z bending post. Uh, 13 at bending post 13 the force needed is 7260 Newton or about 740 kilos that is for Z bending now I want to add for example a V band I go back in here again V bending this is the preview if you not can cannot see the clearly the few few maybe you can use this stretching okay like this one select face this to face and maybe you can see in here okay and then V bending mm, post twelve this is post twelve twelve and then I click add to process list and then I click calculate the remaining post 12 is 740 okay now I want to check how much force needed to create this this forming okay I'll go to round embossing this is the preview what it means of uh, embossing select face okay and then down embossing post 9 
first line calculate this is the force needed to create this embossing and then now I will investigate how much force needed to create this forming I go to circular drawing and then I click the face I click this face uh, circle drawing force 5 add and then calculate 845 kilos okay now I want to see how much force needed to create this forming I will go in here again to circular maybe circular drawing and select the face Okay, this is the face, and then this is the circle drawing post of five, six, seven, this post six, post six. Okay, add on the list, and then click calculate. This is the force needed. Click apply. So, using this tool, force calculation, you can measure how much all the force needed to create one step layout like this in progressive die. So, how much the force you gonna need uh, is a very good way to make sure that all the process will come smoothly because you have the minimum requirement uh, requirement force to create this strip layout in the progressive die okay so that's it in the next step we will start in the die design we will start into die base to create the dies so in here I will start a die base to create something like this die design okay Thank you for watching and please watch my next video, the next step, how to create a database.